Okay, ladies, I figured it out. I tried doing this in Pro and couldn't get it to work. It's too complicated. And then I came back to online and gave it one more try and figured it out. So you can see here that I've made the arc. And I did that by making two map notes. And, and I did not put them in the same file. When each one of these has to be a standalone file. So I'm gonna walk you through it just to make sure you know what you're doing. But you'll make individual map notes and then one becomes the origin and the other one becomes the destination. And then we'll calculate it like this. <clears throat> and again, you're gonna use this for um, airplane routes and ship and, and, uh, and using a boat or a ship and just maybe change the color so that one color represents air travel and the other one represents in a boat. And then you do the best you can. Uh, I mean, really just do the best you can. Not, I'm not looking for perfection, but make it look like you're using roads. Maybe follow some major roads if you can. Okay, as you digitize that, okay? So I'm gonna pause here and reset this and do it from scratch. Okay, so I've deleted everything from the map so that we can start from the beginning here. And the first thing I did is I just searched for places. So I put Paris, France here in the upper right search window. And it's gonna take me there. And then I click on the add to map notes and I'm just doing the pull down. Instead of adding it to the existing map notes file or template, I'm gonna choose make a new map notes layer. And then I'm going to rename this one. I just made it. And I'm going to rename it Paris. Okay, so that's renamed Paris. Now I'm going to go up to the top again. Now I'm going to type in Miami. There's Miami, Florida right there. So it's going to take me there and I do the same thing, but again, make a new map note. Notice the Paris is listed there. So now you're going to make a new one and we're going to call it uh, Miami. Okay. Now I like to zoom out so I can see both. So there's Miami and Paris. We can probably label them too. Let's see. Hmm, I don't see the label feature. Well, we'll play with that later. Okay, so we got our map notes here and go to analysis. Go to use proximity. And then down here where it says, instead of planning routes or creating a drive time or anything like that, connect origins to destinations. I'm kind of surprised we didn't discover this on our own last time, but we'll give it a shot here. <clears throat> so notice that Miami and Paris are already in here because those are the two points. And I put, it says uh, Miami and then we're going to go to Paris. But you can change that. You could make it, you know, Paris to Miami and it flips it. Okay. Um, we'll use, we're going to go ahead and just keep, um, we'll just use line distance because we're not going to be walk or driving a car. And then it's going to use a straight line, but it's not really going to look straight, which is, which I'm glad. I'm glad it looks like a, a flight. Okay. And resulting layer is going to be called the Paris to Miami. Okay. And that's interesting that renamed to make sense with our choices up here. All right. And then it says include route layers. I'm not really sure what that means. Something to play with, but this does work. Let's see. It's taken a moment to do the calculation, but it it won't take too long, I don't think. And you'll have to do this for each one of your legs. So like the, the first leg might be this one. The next one might be, you know, might be Miami to Paris. Then this one, the next one might be Paris to 
Lisbon, Portugal, or something like that. And so you just have to include the points that you want to be your destination or your origin and your destination. And there it is. Okay, and then you can see the route here, Paris point to Miami. And we can re you can rename that to make it sound, you know, just say flight from Paris to Miami or something like that. Okay, but there you go. That's going to look nice. And once again, just make the colors represent what you want them to represent. Flights were boat travel. Okay, that's it.